Well, as the undergraduate director uh, for otolaryngology, I noticed that the students had a hard time seeing things through the otoscope. That's always been a problem, is, is ensuring that the students have actually seen what you wanted them to see. I think the training of the medical student and the paramedical person who deals with ear disease uh, has to be improved. There's been a lot of uh, misdiagnosis or incorrect diagnosis that I've seen in the clinic referred from general practitioners, pediatricians, and even sometimes, unfortunately, otolaryngologists. So we came up with this idea um, to actually simulate the ear and the conditions that affect the ear and be able to uh, train our medical students a little bit easier. So we want to accomplish uh, several features in, in a simulator. Uh, it had to be realistic. The students had to be used to using uh, an otoscope and how to insert it into what looked like a normal ear and then to have a exposure to a wide variety of different pathologies uh, so they could see various examples and really to help them gain their confidence in, 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 in recognizing important features uh, within an ear. It had to be both Mac based as well as PC based. The ability to test one's vision, to test one's color perception, to test one's depth perception, to be able to see if you have the actual skills to actually be able to diagnose. And then the one centimeter size crystal clear image to allow uh, the diagnosis to be made. All these things are actually built into the simulator as well. And then the ability to, to teach on, on mass as well. So one instructor can have multiple students at, uh, at the simultaneously. What we decided to do is a, um, a randomized prospective trial. And it was clear from those results that the students that had the confidence and the skills acquired from the simulator were able to identify uh, pathologies um, far better, uh, far more accurately uh, and, and more quickly than the control group. This is the future. There's no question that simulation will be integrated into education. Certainly as a chair and many of the rest of his leadership positions will see the many advantages of this. And as, uh, as it is seen as a real advantage, I think we will see people purchase it more and more frequently. The quicker we just get this out here, tell people how important it is, I think that the faster it will be adopted. Any teacher in otolaryngology uh, is looking for uh, a tool to enhance their, uh, their teaching skills uh, and also to ensure that the students are learning. The data out there uh, confirms that you know, many uh, physicians and medical students are not confident with their skills and, and so I think we're all looking for some way to improve that. The benefit is the right diagnosis means the right treatment. So anybody who is in a position to diagnose any ear condition should have Otocin.